well. Prince George's has a new school board member. You may recall former member Lynn Mundy was involved and was indicted on theft charges, and she resigned from her post. Our Byron Scott picks up the story from here. Well, this new person is young, bright, and ready to get to work. Well, Prince George's County Council votes 9-0 to zero to confirm the newest member to the school board. Kay Alexander Wallace becomes the third person in two years to represent District 7. For the third time in two years, Prince George's County Council confirms a new school board member to represent District 7. He is 24-year-old Kay Alexander Wallace. I'm honored that the county executive selected me for appointment, and I'm thankful to the county council for voting me 9-0 in support of my nomination. Moments after council voted, I, Kennard Alexander Wallace, he was sworn in. Wallace, who is the legislative and constituent aide for Senator Ulysses Curry, says the primary goal will be middle school children. That's my big initiative. A lot of people uh, tend to focus on the bookends of education, so either universal pre-K and early childhood development, or AP courses in college and career readiness in high schools. And that's great, and I'll support that, absolutely. But my focus is working on those middle years, the sixth, seventh, and eighth grade students who are growing academically, socially, physically, mentally. Wallace was nominated by County Executive Vershern Baker. He replaces Lynn Mundy, who resigned after she was indicted on theft and fraud charges. Mundy replaced Carletta Fellows, who resigned in 2013 after she was accused of inappropriately using her county-issued credit card. Vershern Baker says those controversies forced more scrutiny on Wallace. We really looked at uh, the background. Mm -hmm. We looked at the things that he's done, not just, you know, coming through our school system here in Prince George's County, but the work he's done in Annapolis. Uh, he understands the legislation that went in uh, to change the governance structure. He knows firsthand, you know, with, mm -hmm. a, with a brother actually in the school system right now, he knows the challenges that are there. Uh, but he's a serious young man, and I think uh, he's going to make a difference. Wallace is from District Heights and a graduate of Wise High School in Towson University. He's currently studying for his master's in public policy at the University of Baltimore. I'm confident in my abilities and I'm confident in that I can serve the district uh, honorably. And Wallace will get right to work. His first meeting as a board member is set for Thursday at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Now, he's, he's in this seat for a very short time. What's next for him? Does he plan to run again? He says he plans on running again. The primary is in April, so he's, he's out of office. He's out of office. He's got to run again for the election in November. Uh, but he plans anyway to, to sign on and run again. He's confident. He says he can win. So he'll be up and running campaigning from the very That's moment right. he starts. That's right. <laughs> All right. Thank Great. you. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Byron.